some space for flow and integration in your life? Well, I am coming home more willingly into connection with others, allowing myself to navigate my inner landscape more intentionally to bring me back out into honest connections with others upon the waves and seas of life's tender happenings. What wakeful hour do I send home almost alive? How do I share myself into the mix of offered rays of sunshine? Can you taste the morning's air? What ways does your night come forward into deeper connection phases? Let yourself go honestly. How would I need to be in order to receive the experience I'm longing for? Wow, my mind wants to tumble back and down into cloudiness here, right here. I am so tired. Oh, oh so tired. And here there is also an awareness that I don't need to try so hard. Bake the breathing patterns and showcase your showering breath into a delighted way home. You turn the key to your own match card and changing table. Won't you pick up your pieces and clarify your intent? The desk sold here meets you steady. Renegotiate your relationship with work. The deservedly aware come baking back into slender moments of time riding home and forward. You create care and connection into the breaking ways you wander into selfhood. Can you hold your edges? Can you understand contained self-care and community connection? This is a piece for you to find your ways directly under the surface of symbolic dreams and follow your folded arms into healing boundaries for more love and connection. It is okay to feel unsure about how to show up in times of stress. You've done so much overworking here, and it's time to relax. Where will you go home after the rainfall? After the holiday tides? How do you write your comforts for slender making in times of change? The best is the way for your self-contained life. What makes you share together? How does the symptom of your life hold dearly to the patterns you are actually letting go? Where are you calling yourself into being right here? And are you allowing the times of youth to dance upon the water's edge? The inner child. Creating a comfort of generality amidst the soothing point of your selfhood and tender times. Help your inner child understand who she is. How does the great wall fall down the hill and dissolve back into the earth's embrace? You won't go there again. You know the distant ways in which you protect yourself in the seemingly rough seas of your life and what if it is all working out for you? What if this time comes for such a steady cleaning of your heart and soul? Your belonging bakes into your being something tender and safe to enjoy. Mm, the baking, the baking, the baking process. This is the theme for today. The cookie platter of your life. You know how you want and wish yourself home. Tend to the long-form ways and shelter your home life. Come clear, come ready, come connected. Are you allowed to share yourself more fully? Call yourself back into the body as a safety route to place your own belonging into and shape yourself along the straight line from a distance. This is the way to agree with consistency of flow, a building of steady progress. We have known that the long way is our choice and so surrender the timing and trust the process. You can do this. I know you can. And in many ways you already are.
Mm. Hello, welcome back to another little connection point. I'm going to catch up with you just about how I'm feeling after this writing session that I had you join me for for a bit. Really what's alive for me right now in my healing process and practice is allowing the steps I take to be easy, simple, followable, repeatable, and to not put too much pressure on myself. This is sort of where I'm finding a lot of healing and restoration, recovery, and nourishment. <sighs> and it feels so good. If you're someone who is also big into rules and perfectionism and honesty and coming into connection in a very specific way, a little over rigid in my experience for myself <laughs> is what I'm describing is that I get very fixated sometimes to the point where I get either immobilized or I feel stuck inside of the experience of what was intended to be a really fun or creative or exploratory experience becomes all of a sudden this this like straight jacket that I find myself in emotionally or energetically. So if you're finding yourself in something like that, or you found yourself in something like that, or the next time you do, I just want to offer you the imagery to unclench your fists and open up your palms and just receive. Because the thing is, is especially when it has to do with connection, right? I'm making these videos to connect with you. And you might be working on whatever it is that you get into a clenched experience over in order to connect with somebody or some others as well. What happens though, I've heard this spoken about by a lot of different coaches, and I love this concept, is that when we grip something too tightly, what we're actually delivering is fists. So there's like an aggressive nature to what we're doing, either in our conflict with ourselves or to towards ourself self-abusively or even like, like uh, stay away from me kind of thing. So <laughs> I, if I don't want you to stay away from me, I don't want to hurt myself and I don't want to be in an inner conflict. What can I do if my hands are in fists? Well, I need to actually change and soften. So open and upturn and allow there to be a space to receive, to receive myself, to offer to you, to receive from you to allow there to be a flow of energy through the ethers <laughs> into and out of my experience so that there's just more spaciousness, there's more honesty without feeling like you're trying to force truth. <laughs> that honesty can be really soft. There can be a softness and openness, a surrendered tenderness to the way we can hold ourselves, our hearts, and, and one another when there is safe enough kinds of connections. And when there's just too much, either internally or externally, if we don't have the agency to be a part of the softening component, then that can also be a sign that maybe it's time to redirect focus, or maybe it's time to remove ourselves or extract ourselves from an experience and allow the tension to work its way out or through or stay consistent where it is. It is not our responsibility to see someone else's fist and pry it open. We can sometimes be like, hey, it's okay, you can soften, but it has to, the softening has to come from what was gripped in tents. If we're gripped in tense, the softening has to come from the inside out. We can't force ourselves to relax. That's something I learned as a massage therapist. You can't force it to relax. You have to soften and then allow and gently encourage the experience of it's safe to relax and I have you for support. So I'm doing that for myself here with this process and practice. And I invite you to do something similar for the metaphor of your life and whatever is showing up that might feel a little tense or stressful or where you feel a little bit of, yeah, <laughs> tightness, resistance, pressure. I think that's most of what I wanted to communicate today. I'm not sure what's going to make its way from the pages I wrote into the voiceover or if it'll even be from another day. But if you'd like to join me for a writing session, I did also record me leading us into a little somatic attunement and then a little co-regulatory writing session. And then at the tail end of that, just a reintegration into the body, thanking ourselves for our time we've spent in our solo practice and also side by side and with the other patrons in the Patreon community in, in practice. 
you know, if you'd like to join my journaling home, I would so love to see you there. It's just over on Patreon. There are two tiers of connection there. I am working on how I'm clarifying the dividing aspects of them. I look forward to continuing to connect with you. And if you like this video, I would love it if you would hit that little thumbs up and share it with someone who you think might connect with it as well. And I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Be well.